Welcome to the Libido Lounge, where we focus on all things love, lust, and libido. We believe that fabulous sex is important to health as exercise and good food. Hey everybody, Dr. Diane here talking again about libido and menopause, and I want to talk more about the different types of estrogen. So in another video, we talked about how when you make estrogen in menopause, you're making a weaker type of estrogen known as estrone or E1. And I want to talk about the breakdown products of estrogen. And some people are very scared of estrogen because of concern about cancer and these sorts of things. And obviously talk to your doctor about this. But one of the things to be very aware of is that there's a misunderstanding of estrogen where we're starting to think that estrogen is all bad. Estrogen is more about what types of estrogen, what types of prescriptions, as well as if estrogen is in alignment with progesterone when it's prescribed. But another component about estrogen, when it really comes to health and libido and anti-cancer and all these sorts of things, is how estrogen is broken down and metabolized in the body. Estrogen, when it's broken down, so I'm gonna take a step back and say, we are master recyclers. We love to recycle things in the body. We love to reuse them, all these sorts of things. So when it comes to estrogen, we like to break it down. We like to detox it, we break it down, we recycle it, we reuse it. So estrogen, when it'll break down, it'll break down into three different types. It'll break down into something called 2OH, something called 4OH, and something called 16OH. Now these can be tested for, and this is a very important part of understanding where you're at from a hormone perspective with menopause. And oftentimes tests are just run that are really just looking at your total estrogen or just a, the strong form of estrogen, estradiol, which is pretty much in the toilet in menopause anyways. So it's better to get a fuller picture of what these hormone panels are doing. So you want to make sure you're looking at 2OH, 4OH, and 16OH, these breakdown products of estrogen. Now what we see is 2OH is thought to be the healthiest. It's anti-cancer unless it's really, really high, but in proper amount, it's very anti-cancer. 4-OH is definitely more thought to be dangerous. It can damage the DNA, but it can actually provide some anti-inflammatory benefits to the body. So in small amounts, it seems to be a good thing. 16-OH is very estrogenic. It has been linked the most out of these three to cancer. So you want very little 16-OH, but we wanna be careful about eliminating 16-OH because this type of breakdown product, this type of estrogen, while it still has this estrogenic strong effect, guess what? It's good for building bones. So when we're really thinking about estrogen and menopause and health and vaginal health and bone health and sexual health and all these different things, we want to make sure that we're considering not just estrogen, but these broken down metabolites of estrogen as well. If you like this information, there's more coming. See you in the next one. Please subscribe to this channel. Please don't keep me a secret. Please tell me with your friends and family that could benefit from this information. I'll see you in the next one. Calm.